Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back here in another day in our 2x2 tree farms where you had to wait for one whole week to figure out does this TNT tower blow itself up or does it work as expected? For me, luckily, I just continued. So uh, let's uh, get into it and try this out. I have a button here and uh, this triggers the situation in a similar fashion as when the observer passes by this block here, but not exactly. But it should be close enough to see uh, where we stand. Tower, then the second. Interesting. I am not sure if you saw it, but the first TNT, they all landed in the water, while the TNT from the from the lowest sections on the second tower, they exploded further up. And even the ones from uh, this one here, uh, on the second run, they exploded further up. So I think something is off there with the timing for the first explosion to be investigated. I have formulated a theory of what happened there. The reason is we have a button push down there, which basically powers the rail, keeps it powered for a certain amount and then depowers it, which means we have two signals on this observer, which means two signals going out that way. And I'm not sure, but I would assume if we power that block with an observer going by, we only get one signal. And the effect is that uh, we duplicate two TNTs on the lowest one here and it is just so that the second signal comes in before the first is shot out so the second incoming signal actually triggers the shooting um, so that's why the shooting happens too early uh, and the uh, TNT explodes too late or has too much time to fly down to the water. And this is also the reason why back there this observer is now in the wrong position because uh, with the double pulse it gets moved uh, back and forth uh, and then on the second run up this tower it also gets removed once so uh, for one um, run of the TNT tower uh, it gets moved three times instead of only two times so I guess we sleep through the night and then try the same thing again in combination with the flying piston wall after I fix that observer there. Now then let's see if uh, triggering the whole contraption with the piston wall actually has an effect on the outcome. Uh, I hope so, otherwise we have quite a bit of a problem. 
I mean, the piston wall we already tested out last time. And from what I saw so far, stop the, um, he stopped the, the piston wall or the observer right there where we uh, have our uh, input. And I think this looks a bit better. Yes. Because the observer back there is in the right position. And if I check the footage, I will probably see that the uh, TNT did not end up in the water. Two of the three systems are working and those are mm, the most finicky. Now let's finish the last one off with uh, basically wiring everything together with this whole redstone line. Uh, but then I think I also have to connect a bit of redstone up there. But first, I think uh, I have to sort out uh, the situation down here because for our locks, there is no storage yet. And then I also think for dark oak and channel, I need a few more so that they can actually be dispensed uh, when we grow the trees and of course we need a few saplings more for the first round but after that we should be good shall we try then everything together let's turn this on and also select the uh the spruce saplings, which seem to be the easiest ones. And then we can go about and placing them for everywhere. And then on our way back, uh, we run over this pressure plate that should bone meal until they have grown did not but the uh, the gates over open so um, let's investigate why this stopped working I heard the dispensers going on could be yeah I think that's that's the problem no bone meal yeah then nothing can grow well, let me quickly fill up the bone meal supply and then we can give this another try while I have been collecting and filling in bone meal, one tree has already grown and at that point I collected the other saplings. So I have to replant them here on these two slots and uh, on the way back we can once again pass over the pressure plate and that should trigger that okay so good so far all the trees have grown and the bone wheeling stopped but now the uh, 
piston wall should actually have turned on and I would imagine that's a problem with that down there. So let me have a look and then I can tell you what exactly the problem is. Here we can see the problem. We get the signal in indicating that the trees have grown, but back there one torch is turned off, but not the other. And the other is not turned off because the composter there is in the wrong position. So probably something uh, happened uh, when we tried to grow the trees twice and failed. Um, so that we have then to retry that again. Uh, but for now, I think down here there is a button and that should progress the state by one. Yeah, that triggered the pistons down there to push the locks around and apparently uh, fired off the uh, flying machine. So that is now all a bit choppy. But in the end, we should see it return. Yes. We also hear some blasting. So, on the whole, I would say. A bit noisy. And we got some saplings back, only nine. And I would assume that's because uh, the, uh, the storage down there only had nine saplings left. So I will get myself a few more. And then we can try this a second time. Now that we hopefully have worked out all the kinks. Uh, let's turn this off for now. And again, it should work. Okay, then let's try this a second time. Turn it on run over and plant uh, all the saplings. And run over the pressure plate. All the trees are growing. Okay. Same problem same problem with the same cause yes yes it is somehow we are missing one progression step there so let's bring the situation um, under control and then we figure out what we need to do. Possibly, maybe, eventually, perhaps I have figured it out. We will see in a bit. 
but I have labeled here the different states from machine turned on, uh, which it currently is not. Uh, saplings are planted, uh, basically indicated by the, the pressure plate, which they are not. Trees have grown, clearly they have not. Uh, flying machine is running, well, it is not running anymore, but basically that's the last state before we basically come back. Um, so either now we are in the correct state or we need to progress one further. Uh, but we will see, because if we turn on the machine, we should have composter here in this spot. We turn on the machine and nothing happens. You can see that there the composter did not move. So let's turn it off again and then we can, uh, it's not where I wanted to go. So then let's manually move the thing one further. Now we have it uh, up there. The question is, is it in the right place? Machine turned on. So basically if we uh, switch that lever there, it should not yet moved over there. Let's see then here out of the corner of the eye, we just have the composter picking up there. Yes. No. But then let's just have another go at this. And we can plant the, the saplings. Walk over here. And this step does work. Okay. Not sure why it suddenly does work as expected. Um, but we also saw that uh, that tree did not grow. And one potential issue there is that the holes there on top are in the wrong state. And Currently, we have a zombie in here. That's also not good. But it somewhat works, so let's figure out the correct configuration for the roof. I did another check on the footage of the Lost Harvest, and it seems we again only grew two trees and a bit of uh, investigation also showed why uh, because we start the flying machine too early and the reason for that is down here this farm was originally designed for jungle wood and they have a larger canopy so when grown they would 
obscure that observer there. However, with uh, dark oak and spruce, they do not, which makes this farm not work as intended. And so one effect is that uh, we do have some delay before we start the, the flying machine, but that's basically the, the whole time that these dispensers have uh, to try and grow a tree. So it does not happen for all three of them. And then the second effect is that around the time the machine comes back, uh, we get another signal uh, back there because of course when the flying machine flies over, then it is really obscured. Uh, we get the signal uh, wanders up and potentially triggers the flying machine going off and if we're unlucky uh, this first uh, segment does not get triggered but one of the of the later layers which breaks the whole contraption so in the original design by El Mango uh, this form was AFK cable uh, with a minecart going around and around. So as you can see, this is already uh, tweaked and it is purely manual. So my thinking is maybe we could get rid of all that down there and have uh, a similar setup like here we have with the uh, pressure plate to signal we have planted all the trees that we can have another pressure plate or button uh, to signal okay now have all the trees grown and let's get a move on with the flying machine so i will try to figure out how we can achieve that uh, basically we need to have some sort of signal up here that then goes down to that line that is currently lit. I made the necessary changes and back here we have now a button that will actually trigger the next stage when the trees have grown or I press it when I see all trees have grown. That triggers the piston magic there to move the lower blocks around. And then with a bit of delay, the flying machine is started. And this line just goes down there around the curve and then connects to the line, the existing line that we had before. And as a side effect, of course, uh, all this mess down here could be removed. You don't have that line coming in from here anymore. And as we don't need the daylight sensors anymore, we also don't need the roof where we control uh, which daylight sensor actually uh, is covered and which is not. Another thing that I had not considered is because of the state machine. Uh, basically, uh, we always have the two outputs. The signal coming from the state machine and the event coming from wherever. And only if both are true, we get an output signal. Uh, which means that uh, the output signal there then probably tends to progress the state further. So it's not a constant signal, uh, just a, a, a peak. And this uh, caused a problem here with the dispensers because they were not running long enough. So I put down here a simple uh, 
extender uh, with two uh, uh, two comparators uh, facing the other way around here. And I think it is working nicely now. I already tested it. Um, but uh, I have not shown you yet how it works with dark oak. And then I also have a few channel saplings here. So uh, I would say let's switch off dark oak on jungle and uh, then for the remainder of this video you can see how this form is actually working and for me and for now it's goodbye